damn jamming. Fasting fitness, spring elevation, room protocol. And crunching and crackling of the leaves, competing with the oration. Man, let me tell you, we are rolling. It's been a minute since we've been weightlifting in the gym, so today we're going to work the protocol with heavier weights. So we believe at the moment, and since we do the same four exercises every time we get into the gym, at least to start with, we've been doing them different ways. And I'm going to share with you a method of getting stronger, working with heavier weights and getting a good number of reps in at the same time. If you haven't heard of this, it is called the pyramid method. I would say it's self-explanatory and in the most basic way of picturing a pyramid, it is self-explanatory. However, I kind of do it a little bit differently. There's a mathematical formula to doing it and you can work out your own, but let's just give you the basics. You start with low weight and many reps. Then you drop the reps and raise the weight all the way up to the top where you're doing one rep at the heaviest that you're planning to do. Unless, of course, that one rep goes up fairly easy, then you do another one. Then you work your way down. What do I mean by down? You lower the weight and you raise the reps step by step. But on the way down, you don't do as many sets as you did on the way up or you could. I usually don't. I might do six sets on the way up, four sets on the way down. And another little, I guess, trick is you don't go to the same weight that you used on the way up. Let's say you started your deadlift at 250 and you did six sets and you maxed out at like, just let's say 300. Then you start going down. But as you're lowering the weight, you keep the weight five to 15 pounds heavier than what you did on the way up. And maybe I'll draw a diagram as an example because this stuff gets complicated, but I like numbers and counting, so I usually do this in my head. You can use this method for deadlifts, for squats, for bench presses, for anything really, but it works the best on the heavy combination exercises in my experience. So there's some gym tech for your mental library. And with that, we will get into the gym and see if we actually perform what we've been talking about. <laughs> Anyway, friends, we will get back to you guys with a report on the flip. I'm doing now what I should have been doing between the ages of 25 and 35. And if I believed in regrets, that is by regretting something, I could change it. I would regret that decade of inactivity and sedentary lifestyle. However, on the other hand, if I hadn't experienced it then, then I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now and I wouldn't have the mindset that I have now for fitness. So that decade set me up for every decade that came after it. So I'm not mad. I'm not bitter, but sometimes I imagine where I could be now if I didn't have that 10-year gap in my fitness training. 
excellent Tuesday session today, friends. We are in the time of the afternoon showers, and although the sun is shining some places, the rain is dripping down. But let me tell you about pyramids. We did as we expected. We lifted the way we laid it out. We started with 145 pounds deadlift, and we maxed out at 325, barehanded, no gloves, no wraps. Then we started working down. Guess what? Everything was heavier, or it seemed heavier, than the heaviest that we lifted. So we have yet another method for the heavy lifting. Another weapon in the muscle confusion arsenal. We hit the weighted pull-ups with a combination pronated, or what I'll call front grip, with uh, 30 pounds and a pull, and then a neutral grip with 55 pounds and a pump pull. So yet again, more variety to fire up the back muscles. We continue to struggle with 135 pounds on the reverse grip bench press, but we're going to keep at it, of course, because once we make that breakthrough, boom, sky's the limit. We still haven't started doing the close grip yet. That's something we talked about starting in June. We hit a seated reverse grip barbell press today. No Smith machine, free weights, dead weights, and that was good. We're gonna to have to start working that one in there every so often as well. Grip strength is increasing, although the chest and shoulder strength is kind of lagging behind. I will take the deadlift over the bench press any day. And that's the Jimmy Cham report for today. Taking the day off tomorrow for growth, and we'll be back in there for the next workout. Appreciate you guys. As always, see you next session. Cheers.